Today we're here with Mike Ellis from Park. So, um, Mike, if you want to give us a bit of information about your background. Sure. So my name is Mike Ellis. Um, I run a little digital agency, a very young digital agency. We've been around for about a year, 38 digital, based in Bath. I've been in Bath now, I guess, for about nine years. And I moved out from London, like an awful lot of people do, basically, in order to have a family, like an awful lot of people do. And I've been quite involved in the, in the tech scene locally um, for the past kind of five years or so. I guess it all started originally with a thing called Bath Camp, which was a bar camp, which I'm sure your, your uh, listeners, watchers, will be familiar with as a format, and that was uh, the first one of those was about, as I said, about four years ago. Oh, that's terrific. And with regards to your company, what, what do you tend to see? Tell us a little bit more about your company. Sure thing. We provide three main things. Our, our background is my wife and I are the directors, and our background in museum. I'm an associate tutor at Leicester University's Digital Heritage course and so on. So museums are an awful lot of what we do. So quite a lot of our, um, our work in this first year has been with cultural heritage, with museums, uh, with not for profits. Um, and we do three things. We, we build sites. So that's, that's the first strand. second strand is we provide consultancy. And then the third strand is web training. We're 38.co.uk and that's 30 written out, uh, number 8.co.uk. So with regards to Bar, yeah. as a tech community, I mean, you, you must have seen quite a lot of change since you first arrived. Right? There's several interesting things about Bar. The first is that the perception is that this is a lovely old Georgian town and everybody goes around and thinks about tourism and wears Jane Austen hats and we're all 75 and actually that perception is there to be broken and what's interesting for me and, and when I put together the digital festival the, there was quite a lot of kind of uh, whenever I spoke to local radio there was, a, there was this whole kind of you know, is this about out with the old and in with the new? Now, I'm old enough to know that that's never going to be the case, and of course it's not going to be the case. And actually, it's not the reason why people like me are in Bath. Actually, what this is about for me is about a mixture of an incredible quality of life, but, but also innovation and technology availability. And, and that's something that's kind of very real in the southwest, I think, uh, and it's growing. So th that mixture for me is something that's very potent. What I've found is that actually there are an awful lot of people who are building businesses in Bath. And this is the second uh, interesting thing. Um, people are, 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 my take on this is that people are extremely good at growing digital businesses in the Bath area and extremely poor um, at shouting about them. Oh, fantastic. I mean, obviously, we, we've, uh, we've been to Bath recently. It's great to see things like Eden Ventures yep. based in Bath, yep. the Bath Startup Weekend. I mean, that's, that's terrific. The first one in the southwest yep. in Bath. So with regards to Bath Digital Festival, where, where did the idea for that come from? Well, in, the simple answer to your question is it came out of my brain um, about, I guess, a year and a half ago. Um, having run um, Bath Camp, which as I say, started off as a Bath Camp, um, and we ran that as a single, usual Bath Camp style, 24-hour event. Yeah. Uh, we had about 80 or 90 people come along to that first one a few years ago. Incredible enthusiasm that you get at those kind of events. Incredible enthusiasm and variety and loads of people that you didn't know existed turning up from the kind of local scene. And when I came away from that, I decided that I wanted to do more of this because the, the enthusiasm was just kind of very strong. Um, but I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of organising a big bar camp um, again immediately. Um, so I, I basically turned that into a monthly meetup. Um, and so bar, uh, Bath Camp um, has now, we, we meet monthly and we've, I think we're on number 33, something like that. So we've, um, we've, I think we've managed to on every month, but we've been pretty consistent. So that was the beginnings of it. I started thinking, I guess, about a year and a half, two years ago, about how I could kind of grow that, but keep it kind of sold, if you like. Um, and the idea of a festival, and actually the original idea, and, and um, I keep saying to people, you need to kind of like, you know, be careful because this is still in my brain. The original idea was literally a festival, i.e. in a field, a uh, bunch of noodles and, and some rough cider, and people talking about technology and, you know, engaging with technology. So, yeah, I, I, and I think that'd be awesome. I still think that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ridiculous logistically, but, you know, we'll worry about that detail later. Um, so, yeah, that was the original idea. I sat on it for about a year. I was working full time for another company um, and didn't, you know, didn't have an awful lot of time to think about it. And then I started sharing it around, and it was um, immediately obvious that people were really up for this. Nobody went, "You're insane! This is a ridiculous idea." Everybody was just really enthusiastic about it. Um, and it kind of it snowballed from there. And then I got it in front of. Um, 
basically in front of the, the local council bar, a guy called Bill Castang, who's um, kind of very well connected at Bath, knows the council, works very closely with them. Uh, and long short of it was they, they came up with some cash, um, and we rolled it together with this thing called uh, XML Cross Media Lab, uh, which has been going for, I think, seven or eight years now, worldwide conference event. Um, which is all about kind of creativity and technology and so on. And they were coming to Bath in um, March um, uh, this year. Um, and we, we basically rolled the two things together. So we ran 10 days of events, um, 15th to 25th of March, with Cross Media Lab at one end. Um, and, and we basically, I, I was kind of, I became creative director of this thing. And we, um, we kind of made it up as we went along. We ran uh, 28 events um, during that time, which nearly killed us all. Um, and they ranged from, um, we, we obviously had things like a bath camp night, um, which um, which was in a Dragon's Den format, so that was kind of loads of fun, and for, for that geeky crowd. But one of the things that um, I'm really obsessed with um, is mixing it up between techs and non-techs and designers and business people and, and actually frankly also normal people and I say that in a kind of as polite a way as I can say because you know, te techs and geeks generally aren't um, lovely <laughs> lovely as they are I am you know I, I'm, I'm one of them but but I think um, you know I had kind of learned this from running an event called the Big M um, which happened in March last year. And that was a mobile conference I ran with a chap called Chris Book. And we decided we wanted to run a mobile uh, conference outside of London that was all about uh, what we called Developer Connect. But really what that did was, was enthused me that you can run events that bring people other than geeks together. And are you looking for anyone who might have an interesting project or something that they feel they can add to digital festival? Absolutely. The way that we ran those 28 events basically yeah. is that we didn't run them. Um, we put together, I put together a programme based around um, the groups that I knew would want to be running those events. So basically the, the way we kind of positioned this was come and run an event at the digital festival. Yeah. Um, and, and that's going to continue and you know we hope to kind of grow that and we hope that having um, you know, done the first year and got a bit of press coverage and, and so on and so forth that, that more people will come forwards who are interested in running an event. Yeah. We will help them to promote it, we'll help find venues, we'll probably be able to possibly be able to kind of fund speakers or whatever. Right. Um, but um, yeah, that, 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 I want that to be, I want there to be a huge amount of variety in the programme. I want there to be variety that I haven't even thought of. Fantastic. And how best to get in touch with yourself if uh, well, probably the best way is um, uh, through Bath Digital, right. uh, which I haven't talked about at all, but can do in a minute. Um, so it's just Mike at bathdigital.com, um, yeah. or I'm on, on Twitter with uh, at Mike Ellis. I'm M1KE underscore Ellis, so it's a little bit challenging, but I'm there. Yeah, no, I should just quickly mention Bath Digital, because what we're basically doing is we, um, we know we want to continue to support all of these events during the year, as well as um, focus on the digital festival um, next year. Uh, next year. Um, so we're putting together a community interest company called Bath Digital um, and basically that'll be a kind of a funneling place for um, sponsorship or for funding or, or, or whatever grants um, and that will be an entity um, that, uh, that, that as I say, because it will be community interest, it will be kind of governed by everybody. And on a personal basis, Mike, what, what's, your, what's your plans for the future with regards to your agency? And that's another good question. Uh, I mean, we're, um, I'm long enough in the tooth that I don't, um, I have no intention to, to work evenings and weekends, frankly, um, which is, um, I know for many, a kind of pipe dream um, when you're trying to run a small business. Um, but, you know, I, I frankly would much rather um, spend the next 10 years getting to know my kids and find myself poor in 10 years' time than think, shit, that went, where have they gone? So, you know, my personal aspiration is quite in that kind of direction. So I want to grow the business, yeah. um, but I'm not going to do it at the sacrifice of, of that. So I, I think we're going to continue to do more of the same. We're going to hopefully grow and be cleverer. Uh, I think running a small business, we have been making it up, as an awful lot of people do, uh, yeah. in the first year. And I think we'll be more savvy next year. And uh, I think we'll be um, better at managing our time and our finances and so on. So that's, you know, our aspiration is to grow it, but not unfeasibly. Terrific. Well, I should say it's been a pleasure, Mike. Thank you for taking the time to meet us. Thank and, you, Timmy. Um, best of luck. Cool. Thanks very much. Cheers.